Okay, and before we discuss events in React, let's take a look at two options how we can pass the entire object as props. So effectively, if we take a look at the index.js, everything is awesome. But what if, I don't know, we have 20 items in this particular object? We can see that technically we're doing double the work. I pull out all the items over here, and then I need to repeat the same steps. Or if you go with props.name, same deal in the component. So is there any way how we can simplify our life here when we're iterating over the list? And essentially, we have two options. We can pass the entire object as a prop, or we can use the spread operator, which essentially is the method that I prefer the most. But let's start by passing the entire object. So inside of the map method, instead of pulling them out one by one, here's alternative. I can simply go to my book component and I can say book prop. So I need to come up with a name and I'll name this exactly the same as my parameter and I'll set it equal to my book object. However, once we save, we'll see nothing on screen. Why? Well, because remember, now props is an object, but inside of it, I have another object. I have a book object. So in order to pull these properties out, I have two options. I can go here with props.book or another one, if you're destructuring right away in the function parameter, this is the syntax. Again, if you're not familiar with it, please watch the destructuring video that I shared previously in the readme. So essentially, I know that there is a object and I just pull these properties out. That's the syntax. Again, those are our two options. Either we just go with props dot and then whatever is the object, or we can destructure it right here in the function parameters. Again, essentially, it just saves us here on getting these properties. Now, we'll still need to get an ID. So this is the case where you can either pull it out or you can just say book and then whatever is that property. And then of course, in that case, you can just remove all of them. This is totally up to you. And the method that I prefer the most is actually a little bit different, where we can use the spread operator. And again, if you're not familiar with the spread operator, I will give you the general overview. But if you want to find out more info, just please follow this link where I cover everything in great detail. And essentially the spread operator, so these three dots allow us to copy from the arrays or from the objects. So if you have friends, and then if you want to create a new array, you go here with dot, dot, dot friends, and then let's say you want to add a friend. And if you log, you'll see that effectively you have two arrays. And again, this is copying. So this is not going to be passed as a reference. And the same goes for the object. If you have some object, and then if you want to create a new one, you go with dot, 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 and you copy the properties from some object. And then let's say you add another property. And if you log, you'll see that essentially you'll have a new object with all of these properties. Now in React, here's what we can do. If I have a object, and if I want to pass all of those properties as props one by one, I simply set up the curlies here and I go with dot, 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 and then that object. And once you log, you'll see that all of them are effectively passed down as props. So let's try this out. And let me right away tell you that it's not going to access anything from the book. So this line is going to effectively fail. So let's go back to the book list. And instead of setting this up as book equals the book, you simply want to go with curlies. We want to go dot, dot, dot. And when we want to pass in the object. Again, this line is going to fail right now because we're trying to access properties that don't exist. There is no book anymore. So now we need to go back and let's just log and check it out. So now one by one, we pass those properties down, including the ID, of course. Now we don't use it in a book, but it's not a big deal. So again, this is totally up to you. If you want to pass the entire object 
down as props, you can definitely do so. Just come up with a property. Or you can spread out all of the values. The end result is going to be exactly the same. And it really comes down to your preference. If you prefer the first way, use that one. If you prefer the second one, the spread operator, then of course go with that one. Now, since I prefer the second option, that's why in the course you'll most likely see me doing this, the spread operator approach.